Are you praying? <laughs> Jesus, help me get through this <laughs> intro. Hey guys, so this week I have three very special guests. If you guys would like to say your names, so. I'm Dax, I'm Silas, I'm Anna. And they are the members of a new, up and coming, really awesome band. I've talked about them multiple times before. This is. Someday oh, Smoker! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have rehearsed yeah. that. This is... Someday Smoker. Yay! <laughs> we thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little interview type situation thing here. So I've got some questions and then we answer and it'll be a fun time for everyone. Sure Just to start off, what did you sign in that so Sure did we do. <laughs> <laughs> sure did we do. Let's jump right off of this bandwagon. So to start off, just a small introduction type of thing. What are you guys' roles in the band? Like, what do you do? I help write lyrics occasionally and I help with chords and bass lines. So far on the songs we've written, I've played bass, guitar, and ukulele. And I've, <laughs> and I've sung. <laughs> so, um, I play guitar and bass and a little piano and try to help with writing music. I help write some of the songs and I play mostly piano right now, a little bit of guitar, and I sing on the occasion. The next question is, why did you guys decide to start a band? Like, I know you guys are friends, but like, why were you like... Band. It started as a joke, and we were we we're talking about how it would be funny if we started a trans boy band. Like most of the things we do, we kind of took it and ran with it, and uh, here we are. Yeah. You just kind of so decided it, one day. Yeah, because we all we all knew we'd played music. we we had similar influences and we listened to similar kinds of music. And while trans, clearly an important part of being a band. <laughs> so. <laughs> What's the name, like, what's the story behind the name Someday Smoker? We all go see the same um, endocrinologist to get our testosterone. And so, like, you get a sheet that says all of your, like, hormone levels and stuff and, like, when you should come back. So I was looking at mine and it said, smoking status, current Someday Smoker. And I was like, that's funny because I'm an everyday smoker. But also, Someday Smoker, like, that's just kind of a really funny way to say that. Yeah. So I sent it in our group chat and we like talked about it and we were at the fair and we were like talking about different band names, joking off of like different booths at the fair and then we were like, hey, Someday Smoker and then we were kind of like, mm, actually I like that and then it, it happened. And like once we figured it out, it was just like, okay, we figured it out, it's, this is the band name. We didn't like yeah, have didn't, to think about it anymore. We didn't like take a vote or anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It just kind of struck. Yeah. Struck it here! Struck a chord, so to speak. Ha! Ha! ha. <laughs> Band jokes. Okay. Yikes. Um. <laughs> Band jokes. Yikes. What are some of your personal influences? The Beatles, I would say. They were the first big obsession I had with a band. And they are kind of what got me into music and like playing music and learning more instruments. And if you listen to the bass lines which I've written, they kind of sound. 21 Pilots to kind of, and like Adele to an extent. Like I don't want to be like Adele, she's just, her music is so good that it inspires me to do better. Well, the first song we learned was by the Jones Brothers. So they kind of started, I, that's how I first started playing guitar. I think it was Hold On by the Jones Brothers. Skylar Kirgel and like Matt and Alex Wolf. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yeah. Um. Um. Every time you just all look at me, just, just like. Hey, <laughs> it was just so much <laughs> worse. It was all of us. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's kind of the first person that actually taught me a real song on guitar, which was "Give Love a Try" by Nick Jonas. Lately, it's like, yeah, Skylar Virgil, Twenty One Pilots, and then. Our manager, Sienna, gave us these playlists, and they, it's like all pop punk, basically. So I've been listening to a lot of like modern baseball and the front bottoms and the throwbacks and stuff like that. With the music that you guys have written and performed, what is like, your favorite song? Um... She approaches. Speaking of which! Sienna We're is filming. Here. Wow, it's oh, convenient. Come say hi! We just mentioned you. This is Sienna. She's the band manager She's and a wonderful woman. <laughs> wonderful and a wonderful woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> Truly wonderful. 
wonderful <laughs> week. <laughs> okay, so my favorite, I have, I guess, I like, right now I like one that we haven't released yet, but it's called, um, This Song Was a Mistake. I really like that. I also like Scatter, kind of for the sentimental value. And that like, was the first song you guys wrote, That right? was, yeah, because that was the first song we wrote, yeah. David Duchovny um, just posted a photo. Who was? <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, I got a notification. I think my favorite songs to play are This Song Was a Mistake and Scatter. Well, my favorite is another unreleased one. It's called I Never Said I Was Eloquent, which, yeah. And you guys have three songs on Bandcamp right now? Yeah, we right? have three yeah. demos out, and we have two more songs written. There's How many songs are you guys hoping to have on the EP? Probably six. Six? six? Maybe yeah, seven for six. For All their links will be down in the description boxes, by the way. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> All their links are going to be down in the description box. Okay. Anyway. What is the songwriting process like? Because all the songs that are going to be on your EP are all written by you guys. Yeah, so like, how does that, how do you get going? The first one we wrote, Scatter, was kind of us forcing ourselves to write a song because we knew we had to get like original content mm -hmm. out there. And it was kind of like, Autumn came up with some chords and then Autumn and Sienna started writing lyrics and I did, I helped a tiny bit with the lyrics and then helped a little with the chords, but it was kind of like, the, three of us and apparently Silas tried to help. Child um, <laughs> didn't listen. Uh, and um, and so it was kind of a group process and now it's like it still is a group process but it's more kind of like split up I would say. Mm -hmm. Like we kind of like go to one person and then work with them and then kind of bring it all together when you're like mostly finished with it and then work on it and getting the parts together. Yeah, it kind of depends. But yeah. yeah, it's kind of like one of us will have an idea and we'll bring it to the group and then we'll all kind of expand on it. Yeah. And exactly. figure out the rest of the parts and stuff. Can like, we uh, down the couch? No. no. I mean, like... If there's not, like, a lot of room, I mean... Oh, yikes. But also now it's gonna be... Ah! <laughs> Even okay. more sometimes you look about this big! <laughs> I look like the kid and two couples are like... <laughs> like here... The gay couples and then our child. <laughs> yeah. Do you have, like... Songs that you want to write about? Uh, What's your dream song? <laughs> I mean, at some point, I think we should write a song about trans stuff. I don't know what exactly yet, mm -hmm. but that's kind of. It's kind of an important part of y'all. Kind of, yeah. A little, little really, bit. It's like a big part of our We haven't really addressed <laughs> that in any of our songs. Yeah, so. We should call it the Tran Man Plan. <laughs> no. That would be cool for the three of us to write that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, anyway. I'm choking on my life. Hot. Thanks. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> anyway, um, if you could tour with anyone, who would it be? I think our go-to answer is kind of Twin on Pilots, but also Skylar Kirchall. Yeah, that's kind of my big two. That would be like super fun. I just, I always have to bring it back to my childhood. <laughs> I just want to play with Nat and Alex Wolf. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. I know. Okay, so like, childhood isn't like, you listen to them as a child? Well, they were the Naked Brothers band, but now it's just the two brothers. I didn't know that! <laughs> but yes, so you know, I would like to play with them that was at okay. some point. That would be nice. Yeah, that's how they got yeah. famous. It wasn't just these tiny children who were well, like, yeah, we're going to be a band. Yeah. I don't know. Because <laughs> they're tiny. <laughs> they are. Well, they just were. like y'all. I I feel like Skylar Kirgel and Modern Baseball would be like my two. Okay, best lineup ever. Sunday Smoker opens for the Front Bottoms, who open for Modern Baseball as a headliner. I would see that show nine times over. Okay, Nine times? I would buy tickets for every tour date. Would, would you see it ten times over? Ten is a lot. Every tour date. Would you see it ten times over? Ten is a lot. Okay. Ten is a lot for the same set list. The next question is what's your perfect show? Like including venue, including the lineup. Like their dream show to play or like their, their dream show to watch? Their dream show to play. Okay. Yeah, I guess Skylar Kirkland and Modern Baseball. I don't know about Twin of the Pilots. I don't know how they would be with that lineup, <laughs> but that'd be cool. I think it's cool to look forward to playing bigger shows like the Paramount or something, but I guess like, at some point in the future, the Paramount. I don't know. Play Neptune. Yeah. I would like to play Okay, but only Seattle people know what these venues are. Yeah. Yeah, but like, our fan base is Seattle though, for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, but Jane's viewer base. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so like starting smaller or would you want to like stay smaller? 
I mean, if, at some point, going bigger would be nice, but I feel like smaller places, we can feel like there's less pressure, and the stage isn't as giant, so we don't have yeah. to move around everywhere. Really Again, y'all are small. Yeah. 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 So my ideal thing would be Skylar Kirgel and Modern Baseball would open for us, even though realistically Modern Baseball is way better and more popular than we are. Whatever. And it'd probably be in like some kind of like bar venue like Seattle Lights would know like El Corazon or like New Mills or the Neptune would be cool too. And in the audience mm -hmm. I would see him. Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Would, would he just be there by himself, or would it be like Obama and Biden? <laughs> like, you know, like, if Biden wasn't there, I'd be really disappointed. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like disappointed. Yeah, scatter featuring Barack. <laughs> <laughs> just sample. <laughs> Along the lines of like perfect show or whatever. Like, if you went on tour, like where would you want to go? Like in the U.S. or outside of the U.S. Like where would your ideal little tour go? If you're staying in the U.S., I think it'd be cool to do start. With a like a West Coast tour, um, can I go from there, like ex move east, mm -hmm. eastward expansion? Am I right? Oh my God, with the history. Okay. At least didn't say manifest destiny. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> but if we were playing outside the U.S., I think it'd be cool to go to Brazil, or like a Spanish-speaking country. But it'd be cool to go to like England or like Western Europe, kind of. I'm sorry, I'm staying away from Russia because I'm very. Aren't you all? Very gay, very small, and very scared. Yes. Yeah. If we went outside of this country, it'd be nice to go somewhere where they speak English because I don't know any other language. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Autumn and I would just be your translator. Translator? Translator! Oh, God. <laughs> that was so good. I thought we could get past one thing where we didn't make it. A trans joke like that. But okay. Yes. I would, I kind of agree, like, I kind of want to do, like, like a dank van tour where we're, like, on the west coast, and then we, like, head east and see how far yeah. south we can go without getting killed, and, yeah. Yeah, actually, that'd be cool. But also, I want to go east because Skylar Cardinal is east. Yeah, exactly. And then we could, like, visit Jane in Maryland. New Zealand! How far south we go. Well, that was the last question I had written down. Do you guys have anything you want to, I don't know. Share. Well, we have so we have the three demos out. We have two more songs written. We're looking to write at least one more, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna release another demo. And hopefully, we're gonna start looking into um, not only putting together an EP, but also playing shows, so we can like start getting our music out there to the public. Is there somewhere like if people saw this and were like? I'd like to book them for a show. Is there somewhere they could do that? Uh, email us at somebodysmoker at gmail.com. Yeah, so we have an email, and also our demos are on Bandcamp, so it's somebodysmoker.bandcamp.com. We also have a Tumblr that has lots of photos of us where we look attractive. They look great. Somebodysmoker.tumblr.com. Yeah. Photocred? Sienna took those. All of their links will be down in the description box. <laughs> down in the description box. <laughs> So you can check them out down there. We also filmed a video on their YouTube channel because they also have a YouTube channel. Channel, I cannot speak. Where we <laughs> did what are we doing? I think we're doing the whisper challenge. I think we decided on. Sure, we can do the whisper challenge. Why not? We're that gonna do. Be a thing. We're gonna do the whisper challenge on their channel, and it's gonna be a hoot and a half. Because oh, it'll be party. Oh no, Jane. <laughs> a hoot and a half. A hoot and a half. But thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Do you guys want to give it a thumbs up? Beep beep beep. beep. Ta da! Oh. Bye. <laughs> thank you for watching. I will see you guys next this is week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. You want to stop it? Yeah. Go for it. Do that.